I'm Dr. Pierce, and welcome to this video on how to add custom error bars onto XY scatter plots in Google Sheets. Now, if you're thinking, hey, what about column graphs? We've got you covered in this video, and I invite you to check it out. And if you already know how to do this on column graphs, you are still in for a little spreadsheet wizardry. Since while some of the fundamentals in adding error bars to XY scatter plots are similar to that of column graphs, you do have to play some extra games to get Google Sheets to do this for you. And if that doesn't pique your interest enough, I'll also show you a little bonus trickery to ensure that you get a trend line on your graph as well. So let's go ruffle a few sheets, shall we? So here's some data that I cobbled together from the lab. Uh, where you've got changing hydrogen peroxide concentrations, substrate concentrations, and we're measuring the rate of uh, the enzyme catalase uh, just in mils of oxygen per minute. I've also gone ahead and calculated the averages and the standard deviations, which I am going to plot as error bars on my XY scatter plot. Now, if you go ahead and just plot the average like you normally would do, you can generate a pretty decent little graph here. We'll just turn that into an XY scatter plot. And voila, where we have it. Minus the X axis and Y axis labels and so on. But this is exactly what we want. The problem with this is we cannot add custom error bars to these data points simply because they all are in one series. And if you try and scroll down and uh, under the custom bar, under the series tab and say, hey, I want to add some error bars. The only thing you can do is add a specific percent or a specific constant to every single data point. And we don't want to do that. So what we need to do is get rid of that. And we need to trick Google Sheets into thinking that each one of these series is its own individual series so that we can add custom error bars later on. So in order to do this, we need to create a new table. This is where it gets a little bit tedious and frankly, a little bit silly that we have to do this, but here we go. I am going to simply copy that and form a new table down here. All right, I'm gonna take my averages because that's what I wanna plot. I'm gonna copy those as well. This time though, I, I have to do a, uh, a paste special. I only want the values because I used formulas to calculate them up above. So there are my averages there, no problem. But now what we're gonna do in here is I'm going to put this value in this box. I'm gonna put the 20 value in this box. I'm gonna put 42 in here, 85 in here, and 103 in there. Now, this is the point where you say, why am I doing this? Well, because by doing this, you're saying this here is one series and it only has one data point. This is a different series existing of a single data point and so on and so forth. So if I go ahead and plot that quickly, just to show you what happens, I turn this into a scatter plot and Again, same sort of graph, which is exactly what we want. But this time you can see, again, because of the colors, uh, the different colors, they each represent a different series. And you can go under customize and indeed see that you have five different data series. Now the extended problem with this is that you cannot add a trend line to this because all of these series simply consist of a single data point. There is no trend. So I'm gonna get rid of this one more time and say that is what this series is for. So we're gonna plot all of this data using these five series to add the error bars and this series to add the trend line. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do that, have a look. So we'll turn that into a scatter plot. Now you say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That is not what we were looking at before. And this is again, where Google Sheets is trying to guess what you want and it is guessed horribly wrong. So down at the bottom of the setup, you have to fiddle around with these buttons until you get the, the graph you're looking for. And I played around with this a little bit so I know this is now what I, what I want, okay? It's the same graph as before. 
Okay, this time you'll notice that all the dots are the same color, and that is because of that last series that has all the data points in it. So now it's time to add the error bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this graph over, show us a little bit of room. Remember, it is these standard deviation values that I would like to put as error bars. So under the Customize tab, we will scroll down and I'm going to put the first data series error bars in by clicking error bars and choosing a constant value that is equivalent to that first standard deviation of 1.7. And then I'm going to do it again for data series 2. Scroll down, error bar, constant, and 2.2. .2. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way down for the different series. So this time it'll be 8.4. And I don't want to bother you with the details. So, and there it is. I've added all the error bars now onto their respective series. But we still don't have a trend line. So now what you want to do is under that last data series, which is that final row right here that we added data, data series six. We don't want to put error bars on that one. Instead, this is where we add our trend line. And obviously it's not a linear trend line. I'll probably go with a polynomic that's about three and that looks just dandy. So by tricking Google Sheets into thinking that you've got a whole these different series you can manipulate the graph in order to get any kind of error bar you want on your XY scatter plot. Thanks for watching.